Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I will talk you through this new ball collection album in Golf Clash. Now, I understand that this feature has been out for a little bit now, but it has taken myself some time to kind of collect my thoughts and get a um, yeah, pretty decent understanding of how it actually works. But I do get questions about this, not daily, but very often on how it works and how to use it and stuff like that. And I'm going to try in this video to explain it in the best way I can. I will talk you through what it is and also how it works and also then end up with my thoughts and tactic on how to utilize that in the best possible way. Before we take a look at everything, make sure that you scan the QR code here on the screen or use the link patreon.com slash goldclashtommy that you can find in the description down below. We do offer premium guides for every game mode in Gold Clash, checkpoint challenge, tour play, and tournament guides. So you can sign up and start improving your game today. If you do enjoy the content here on the channel, please make sure to hit the thumbs up button on this video, but then also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. So, now, the Bald Collection album. You can find timestamp in the description down below to help you navigate in this video. It's not going to be many timestamps, but at least then you can just... Uh, instead of just rewinding manually and stuff like that, you can jump back and forth throughout the different chapters or segment or whatever we like to call it. So let's start off with talking about what the Ball Collection album is. So what is the Ball Collection album? The Ball Collection album can kind of summarize, uh, can be summarized in three ways, in my opinion. And first, to get there, you press the gold bag, and then you press balls, and then you have this little button here at the top. I'm going to show you here. You can see that one there. So you press that one, and then you go into the ball collection album. And here you see loads of things, and here is where it becomes uh, very complicated, I would say. But we're going to go through that as well. Uh, but first, what is the ball collection album? So number one it's to get this ball called a neutron ball this one that's kind of the ultimate goal i would say for um all the players that are using this album and you get the album regardless if you want it or not regardless if you are a paid player or a player that pay for stuff or you're a player that do not pay for stuff so this neutron ball is a uh, one of a kind uh, in uh, with its stats at the moment it might not be that in the future but it's a perfect size ball it has the power four with plus three overpower needle it has precision four it has side spin four and wind resistance four if you do collect a certain amount of golf balls in golf clash you will be rewarded with neutron balls and you can see that i have 83 of them these are balls that you cannot buy so the only way to get them is to collect them through the ball collection album. However, though, this is not a ball that stands out with like, wow, 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 I absolutely have to get it. But it is a really good ball and can be used in any division on, I would say, on any hole um, when you play tournaments. And obviously you can use this ball in tour play as well. It doesn't have to be for tournaments. The second part is the collection or like the collecting part of everything for me i'm a collector have always been and that's why you can see me having a lot of these balls already collected in the past and every time you can see a ball clearly we can go here you can see these are ones that i have not had on this account that's why they are gray but as soon as you have had a ball e either in the past or now in the future uh, or that you have it now in your golf bag or your inventory, then you will see them clearly. That means that you have collected that ball and it displays there. So the collecting part of it is actually quite a big thing for me personally, because I, like I said, I am a collector. I want to have everything. Uh, and therefore it's um, for me nice to see that I do have a lot of them. The third part to say, and that is a way for Playdemic uh, and uh, EA to earn more revenue. Because obviously you can see um, the chance to buy chests for the different generations. And we're gonna go more into that as well. But you can, in my case, it cost me 129 Swedish to get uh, a chest or like a box with 
uh, golf balls. And that is something that uh, is obviously the, the, the bottom line with everything when it comes to the game itself, that there is a way for the game makers to make money, which obviously it makes sense. So it's three parts really what the ball collection album is. It's number one, to collect that neutron ball. Number two, to collect the balls. And like, you know, when you collect the football stickers, the baseball cards or whatever, that you can collect golf balls uh, here in Golf Clash and actually go through and see old balls, new balls and stuff like that, which is, a, which is in my opinion, a good thing. And also then the third part with that, it's uh, a revenue maker for uh, the game makers. But I think most of the things that I said for those that has been have been looking at the ball collection album uh, is kind of self-explanatory. And we're going to go through uh, now in more in depth on how you use it. We're going to talk about generations and how those works uh, and stuff like that. So keep watching and we're going to go through that now. So how does the ball collection album work? And I'm going to try to explain this in the easiest way possible, but I can understand that this is the part that will raise some questions. And I can try to, I can, but I will try to answer the best way that I can. If you do have questions, and then you can send the questions in the comment section down below here on YouTube, or you can just shoot a message to me directly. All right, first we need to understand that we have something called generations. And you can see here at the bottom, you see 20 uh, if we have my cursor there, and then we have down to one. So we have 20 generations. And what Playdemit then has decided is that every generation uh, is including 20 different type of golf balls. So to complete one generation, you need to get at least one or have had at least one of every golf ball on that specific generation. And you can see here that we have so many different generations and every single ball that has ever been in the game has been added then to a specific generation. When it comes to uh, the golf balls itself, I mentioned that you know briefly here in the video already, but how do you collect the golf ball? You collect the golf ball by, by either been having that golf ball before, you don't have to have it in your inventory now, you can have had it like when you first started playing the game, um, or just any time before the ball collection album got, uh, went live, because the game is recognizing what balls you've had on your account and then will then add it to the ball collection album. It can also be that when you do um, buy uh, golf balls in the game, then it immediately is going to show uh, that you have it in your inventory. And you can see here now with generation one, that you have all the golf balls collected. And how do you know that you have all the golf balls collected? You have that by having a clear picture of that ball. And we can see here on generation two, you see that all the golf balls here are gray. That means that I have not collected these balls at any, any point during my golf clash uh, life or career or whatever you would like to call it. So that's the way to kind of separate and actually know that you've had um, the golf balls in your inventory at any point in game. If you do have a golf ball like this that is gray and you do want to try to collect this golf ball, then the only way to do so is if Playdemic is going to um, offer these type of golf balls as, uh, as to be purchased, like, like with regular golf balls being offered as, um, uh, as premium balls to buy to your inventory or you have to buy something that's called a generation chest. And here you see generation two chest cost 65 Swedish. This is my price in, in Swedish Krona, so I'm from Sweden. Uh, and I would be very cautious of buying these chests because what you need to understand here is that if you buy a chest here, it's completely random. Sure, you're going to get some uh, golf balls here, but you're only going to get four different golf ball types. So you will not be able to kind of pinpoint that you want that ball or that ball or that ball. You're going to get it just completely randomized. And for an example, if I would be trying to buy from a generation where I feel there are some good balls, I mean, if we take generation 16, which I do feel there are some precision balls and stuff like that, I don't know if I'm going to get 
uh, the balls that I want, or I'm going to just get the balls that I don't want and have no value to it. That is a part that I absolutely dislike a lot because that becomes gambling to me. And that's not really what I um, expect from, um, from this. Or So that's a negative thing in my opinion. However, though, if there would be that you maybe uh, would be able to pick one or two balls out of the four that you will be getting from a chest, would be a different story. But that's how it works. So it's completely randomized and you will get four different golf ball types from the 20 that is possible to get. And that means if you buy one of the generation chests. Now, let's go back to generation one because I feel it's easier to start here from scratch. You can see that the gold balls that I do have here, I do have every one with a clear uh, view. So I have a picture. Once I have collected all the 20 different gold balls, I will be rewarded five neutron balls, right? So that's your reward for having collected um, all the 20 different golf balls for this specific generation. So then for those that are good at math can easily then count out, okay, so if I've gotten all the golf balls for all the 20 generations, then I will get 20 times five, which is 100 neutrons. So that's how uh, you start collecting. You can see that I do not have uh, the neutrons um what can i say i don't have all the neutrons um that is possible to be collected because i would say it's more or less impossible to get everything but that, that's a different story so you can see that there is a color behind every ball you can see there is one that is like uh, yeah, let's call it blue green ish and we have one that is bronze and we do have one that is silver but we also have one that is gold and now if we take a look at the top here you can see that we have three steps uh, for, or like we have four steps when it comes to um, a specific generation, which is that you can have the normal one, which is the, the ones that are, you know, green, blue. Then we do have the bronze, which are the mummy ball, for an example here. So we do have the mummy ball with the bronze here and a couple of others with bronze. And then we do have the silver ones, and then we do have uh, the pumpkin ball here as a silver. And we do have a turkey ball as a silver as well. Then we have gold, which is the snow globe globe ball. And now you may be wondering, how do you get the ball, the golf ball, from being just normal to then go to bronze, to then go to silver, to then go to gold? And yeah, the way to do that is in two ways. The first way is that you have been using that ball a lot in your game when you have been playing. So I've been playing with this snow globe snow so many times, and therefore I do have it as gold, Prestige 3 as it's called. And when it comes to the other balls, I have not been using them that much, and therefore they uh, are in different levels. So if you have been using one specific ball or many different balls, a lot of time when you have been playing tour play, tournament play, checkpoint challenge, whatever, then you will see your prestige level to be something different than the normal one. Is it going to be bronze, silver or gold? Because it depends on how many times you have used that ball in the game, then it counts up the prestige levels and you will then go to, from one to the other, etc. The other way to do it is to actually give back what you have invested in, meaning that when you have been buying golf balls, then you sometimes have been buying a lot of a specific ball that you may not have stopped using or you never use. I had plenty of those type of ball <laughs> types and that was uh, obviously fr that's a little frustrating, but that's also one way for you to uh, get yourself to a higher prestige level. So if we do press on, uh, let's gonna take, uh, let's uh, take the Easter, no, not that one, we're gonna take and uh, we're gonna go to where do i have the there let's go to the reef ball a perfect example of a ball that i use very rarely so you can see here now that you have something called prestige progress that somewhat shows how many golf balls do you have to spend in order to get yourself to the next prestige level so in this case i'm already in bronze but how many golf balls 
do I have to spend to get myself to silver? And then you can see here, okay, I do have the reef ball there. It says 18, that is plus 36 prestige points. So here it is the second part of how you can go to, an, to the next prestige level. That is to give the game back the golf balls you have bought. So in this instance, if I want to get to prestige level silver, I'm going to have to give the game 18 golf balls to then receive 36 prestige, uh, prestige points, which then would add to the total number and I will then go up to silver. And you can see this is a slider. So you can, if you don't want to spend all the balls, for example, then you can spend just a portion of it. But every ball you give back to the game is equal to prestige points. So let's say that we go to silver. I'm not going to use this ball that much. Then we press convert. And then this will per permanently convert 18 balls into 36 prestige progress points. And now you can see then that I do have the silver frame. Means that I'm in silver. So how much does it then take for me to get up to gold? And there you can see here now. Now it's going to cost me loads of golf balls to get there. It's going to cost me 100 golf balls to get 200 prestige points to get the gold frame. And that's a lot of golf balls. But that's the way it works when you progress in the prestige uh, in the prestige levels. And you can then see as well that that's going to then add the silver frame, which then going to add to the total up here for my progress when it comes to getting to a prestige silver on all my gold balls. Now, I can understand that what I'm saying here is maybe sounding extremely complicated. That's why it's good that we do have a video so you can go back and you can watch it and rewatch it and stuff like that. Because the fact is, we need to have in mind again that the only reason we are upgrading to a different prestige level is to get the neutron balls. So, instead of just, if we are thinking about it now, that I said that if you would, if you have collected all the 20 gold balls, then you will receive five neutron balls. But if you then have every gold ball, have that in mind now, every gold ball on that uh, on that generation into bronze, then you will receive 10 neutron balls. When it comes to silver, if you get every ball in generation to silver, you are then going to uh, get 20 neutron balls. And if you then get every ball into gold, then it's going to be an extra 50 neutron balls. But for those that may already have counted this out, it's gonna be a hell of a lot of gold balls you're going to either have to spend playing the game or to give back to the game. And I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that in my, in my own tactic and my own thoughts about this ball collection album, because I would be very cautious of trading in a bunch of gold balls you have paid money for if you're not getting any rewards back from it. And I will explain more what I mean with that. There is an extra thing here that we uh, have not been talking about. Let's say for the sake of the example that you do have a gold ball that is in uh, gold. Then if you have extra gold balls, in this instance, I do have a stock that it says it's four gold balls. So here you can with this slider, decide if you want to give the game those gold balls back and you can then convert into generation tokens and now for the sake of the example i'm gonna uh, um, convert all but one just so you can show so i'm giving back three golf balls here and then you can see here that my tokens went from zero to three these tokens you can then use on whatever golf ball in this specific generation. You can't use that on another generation. It's very important to have in mind. So these tokens, I can then go in and then use the tokens here instead of giving away golf balls, which is a smart way, obviously, to use those tokens. But have in mind, to be able to get those tokens, you have to have prestige level gold and then trade in more golf balls. So a quick count when it comes to um, the amount of golf balls you're going to have to give the game back is going to be uh, around, now it's gonna be around somewhere between 150 to, to 200 golf balls. And that's a lot of golf balls. And there are very few people in this game 
that do have that many golf balls on every golf ball for that matter. So you could maybe understand that getting up to gold on every golf ball is going to be extremely difficult for the majority of all the Golf Clash players. So there is a lot of things in this ball collection album and I've been trying to explain it in the best way I can on how it actually works. But it is quite simple once you kind of understand on how it's built up uh, and how the progress is actually being made with the different uh, generations and then the different prestige levels. But the important thing to have in mind as well before we go over and talk about my thoughts and my tactic when it comes to this album is that you don't have to buy anything here. The album is going to collect the balls that you are collecting in the game such as if you buy one of the special balls that come as an offer and stuff like that. So you don't have to use this, but it could be uh, wise sometimes when you buy a new ball to just go in and check, did I unlock and get some new neutrons and stuff like that. So this is how the ball collection album works. Let's have a little talk about my thoughts and the tactic when it comes to the ball collection album. So what's my thoughts about this ball collection album, also a tactic that I have myself. I'm going to start with the tactic that I do have is that I always see if I'm going to invest money in something, I want to get a reward for it. And if I'm going to give the game balls like that I purchased before, which is essentially to give them more money than what I've been already been doing over the years, then I will need and shall get a reward from it. So my stance on everything is I'm going to collect the neutrons that I'm receiving here from the ball collection album for the balls that I'm buying to use in the game in terms of the special balls that I'm using in tournaments and such. But I'm not going to buy any gener generation chests due to the randomness that we do have there, which I do not like. And I'm collecting my neutrons, and if I then look at the golf balls that I do have, if I can see that I can get every golf ball to a new prestige level, meaning that I can go from normal to, for example, bronze, or then to, for example, silver, or then gold for that matter, then I will be giving the game the balls necessary to get there. But if I can see that I, out of the 20 golf balls, I can get 19 of them, to bronze, but the 20th golf ball I can't get to bronze, I won't upgrade any of the other 19 balls. I'm going to keep those balls because, again, my stance is if I'm going to trade those balls in for the 19 different golf balls out of 20, I should make damn sure that I'm going to get something for that. And then as I'm not getting any nutrients for that, I mean, I'm not going to uh be uh, then i'm not going to do uh, absolutely anything then i'm going to keep that because it's my money and i'm going to then if so wait until i can get the 20th gold ball to the net, next prestige level and then reward myself with some more neutrons that's at least my tactic that i do have and that is something that i hope others will apply as well which i do feel is very benefit beneficial for many when it comes to my thoughts and about this ball collection album I, I don't understand why we needed this from the beginning, to be honest. I understand that this is create, creating a way for the game makers to have players to give loads of golf balls back that they are never using. Because there are loads of players in this game that are sitting on thousands and thousands of balls that they will never use. Because we do have the precisions now, we do have a bunch of win 5 ball, win 4 balls. So many of the balls have become obsolete over the years. So by then giving you, uh, giving them a lot of balls back, then that opens up for extra purchases. And it also opens up for people to buy the generation chests to maybe get balls that they are missing or that they just want to increase their stock with. Uh, but in the end though, I think this is a feature that is just focusing on such a small, uh, small, percentage of players that are playing Gold Clash. Obviously, players that do play free-to-play have zero use for this. But there are loads of players that I surround myself with that have been playing the game for years, that have been spending a lot of money on this game, but can get maybe no nutrients at all, or maybe just a few. 
And I just feel like, what's then the point? I mean, because players will then see like, okay, I'm going to have to increase my spending with thousands of dollars to actually get myself to the point where I get some neutrons, which would be balls that we might be able to buy or at least similar balls that we would then be able to buy or I already have in my inventory. Um, and that is the equation that I'm trying to understand with this type of feature. I love the fact that you can collect the balls absolutely because I'm a, I'm a nerd in that segment, so I love that part. Uh, but I um, have a hard time to understand just that type of um, scenario with this ball collection album. But I would love to hear everyone else's thought about this. Could be uh, things that I do miss here with my with my words trying to explain this uh, pretty difficult feature that we do have in the game. So let me know in the comment section below. And I want to say a massive thank you for those of you that watch this video and make sure to hit the thumbs up as well. Subscribe to the channel and support the way you can. Thank you once again for watching and I will see you in the next video.